All right, guys. So sled is pretty much packed for our Iditarod. Um, we did our last run with the dogs yesterday before leaving to drive down to Anchorage. But let me show you guys kind of how this is put together. So snow hooks for anchoring the team. Those will go out on either side. A nice bright day like today. I've got my sunglasses mounted right here so I can easily get in and out of that case uh, as I'm out during the day. So that's kind of like the first most important thing. Katie gave me these um, to use for Iditarod keep my hands protected from wind but also from snow like last night it was a snowstorm um, so those will be riding on the sled but in the sled is where we have most of our important things um, so for our dogs the bulk of this sled bag um, is devoted to the dogs I've got a few personal items in here but it's really mainly dog care stuff um, so we've got fuel to run our dog food cooker so it is right in here so as we stop to make a camp, this is one of the first things that I pull out. Combination of two pots. I take my fuel, put it in there, light it on fire. The next pot gets full of snow. And that's how I make water for the dogs. So that's always traveling with me um, as we're going down the trail. I've got my ax here in the sled, ready to go in case I need to cut a tree out of the way, try and scare a moose cut up meat that is maybe frozen together. Need to break into smaller chunks. Um, this is my vet bag. Um, so this is where all of my items for like dog health care um, ride. So I have supplements in there for the dogs. I have um, massage oils. I've got foot cream. I've got vests that they wear. If they get a sore muscle, I can put heat on their shoulders. Um, so those vests right in there, wrist wraps in case they get a swollen wrist um, from stepping in a hole or slipping on the ice, you can wrap the wrist compression so all that rides in that bag a ladle important of course for dishing out our dog food for putting snow into that cooker as it's going so that's in here got dog bowls i then have some dog clothing um, so in addition to wearing jackets when it's really cold sometimes our dogs will wear belly protectors and leggings to keep the snow off the backs of their legs so that rides in this bag extra pair of booties some extra stuff for me. Extra pair of gloves, pair of socks, pair of boot liners, some heat packs, toe warmers, kind of emergency stuff. So that's up at the front of the sled because I don't really need to get to it that often. So then on the outside, we've got more some personal items for me. My thermos, which will be full of water. Um, I then have a kitchen bag, which has like my spoon and fork, um, emergency meal, trash bag, kind of everything I want to get to as I'm like making a meal on a camp. Um, so that rides on top of the sled. And then I've also got uh, a personal cooker. So very similar to this, I have a small cooker for myself so that I can melt snow into drinking water um, when I'm out there on the trail. Let's see what else we got here. Snacks usually ride in this upper bag. And then inside here, we've got some extra batteries for the headlamp. So I'll be riding with me. Um, we charge up stuff on the trail, so that'll be riding in there. I have a gun packed as well, in case we get into like really aggressive moose. Um, so that'll be riding in that pouch. So then towards the back of the sled, we have a cooler. This is where we mix up all of our dog food. I can also sit on it, which is great. Um, so if we're on a really long, straight section of trail, I can actually sit on that cooler um, while the dogs are running. Um, I have more um, like personal items. So I have a rain jacket. Um, I was using that last night because it was snowing really hard. An extra harness for one of our dogs. She wears a couple different types of harnesses. Mittens. Those are some big mittens. Yeah. That's for <laughs> the sub-zero weather. And then I've got dog jackets um, for the whole team. Pack there. My sleeping bag. What do we have here? T-shirts for the dogs. Okay. Um, I then have a bivy. Um, this is really important um, for like being in a snowstorm and trying to sleep. Um, so I put my sleeping bag in a waterproof bivy to make sure I don't get soaking wet when I'm out there. Um, and then I have an extra harness and some extra runner plastic for the sled that will be down at the bottom in this bag as well. And then we've got um, this sled that actually tows behind this trailer. Right now I have a dog crate in here so the dog can actually ride in there, but the race doesn't allow us to do that. So in this slide instead will be a straw bale. So as I come into okay. a checkpoint and I'm not planning to stop, I want to rest out on the trail, 
I just grab a straw bale, place it right in there, and then take it with me down the trail. Awesome. Okay. Thanks. You bet.